how do I connect with my guides? It seems that nobody can hear me. It seems that I am alone. I am left here in this desert of the world with no guidance at all. And then this idea of uh, there being guide or guides who magically guide you in this world, in the waking state, in order to achieve whatever you are trying to achieve or just help or just as a companion, just as a friend. Usually what I say is that uh, the guidance is always there. It is there right now, right here. What has happened is that we look for things outside. By outside I mean in the world, in the phenomena. We look for answers there. We look for guidance there. That something will appear in my experience that will give me whatever I want. And that is why when it comes to spiritual guidance, we also go and look outside somewhere. Something will happen. Those who are kind of dreamy kind of people, <laughs> they look for the guidance in the dreams. Because dreams look like magical, isn't it? We don't know how they happen and also people substitute the unknown for mysterious. So they think that some the guides will contact me in the dreams. And they look for that. And then some people, they are spiritual. They call themselves spiritual and they look for the guidance in the altered states of the mind. Like in the samadhi states, meditative states or drug-induced states or out-of-body states. Who knows what? And let me tell you one thing straight. That these are not totally false. If in a spiritual community some notion appears, some idea appears, then you can say that it has appeared out of a genuine experience of somebody. There is hardly anything which is imaginary. What has happened is that the spiced up version of the experience, they become imaginary. People don't want to talk about it in a plain manner. They spice it up, they sugarcoat it, they bake it into a birthday cake. So <laughs> it looks presentable. And uh, then ultimately the content is lost, only the packet remains. That is what happens. And because uh, when those who are not experienced, those who did not experience the thing that the original person and the one who started the idea experienced, then they cannot have the cake. They get only the pack, the out outer packet. So this has happened. So there is truth in that and there is a lot of made up stuff in these notions of guides, how to contact them and where they will appear. So I was after all this thing obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have known all these things. So uh, for a long time I was looking for guidance from a magical uh, way and I don't know but uh, there was nothing extraordinary that happened. What happened is that I found that the ordinary is magical. The ordinary way is nothing short of magic. So you can guess my answer was that look for guidance from a living guide. Look for the guidance from somebody who has a human body, speaks your language, lives nearby. Because you are not really interested in magic. You are not really interested in this spooky alien out of the world entities probably you are but that is you know besides the point the point is guidance isn't it so if you are looking for guidance then it is available in ordinary form it is available through human guides what did i find was that these human guides they appear ordinary they appear like you and me you see nothing extraordinary no horns and no tails and no uh, Dr. Strange kind of strange powers, nothing. But when they speak, there is magic in their voice. The magic is there in the ideas. The magic is there in their experience, their knowledge. That is the real magic. Everything else is bells and whistles. You see, the Diwali lights and crackers, firecrackers. And I've seen that those who are just starting or the young people or the spiritually young people, the age of the body does not matter here. So body can be old but the spiritual maturity may not be there. 
so those people they go for whatever shines whatever lights up <laughs> whatever engages their fantasies they look for that and some day they you know hear these things that oh there are guides and the only way to get awesome knowledge is by contacting your awesome guide who lives in who knows where which dimension and will come here to serve you the freshly cooked knowledge which nobody else knows in this world <laughs> now this is immature yes but it can become a delusion if you do not get over it if you do not mature out of it if you do not graduate out of it you may get exotic guides you may get aliens you may get ascended masters as your guides you may even get the small gods and goddesses they may also appear and sometimes you may get exactly that avatar that you know that you worship that you hang a calendar of that the statues you put in on your altar the elephant gods or the monkey gods or the bull gods or whatever is you, your culture is prescribing they, it can appear in exactly that form also are they true is that phenomena real when it happens does that mean that my ordinary guru <laughs> is worthless because i don't have these extraordinary entities to guide me you can guess the answers everything that happens here is false everything that you experience is maya everything that appears and disappears is an illusion do not consider all all these phenomena all these guides all these exotic creatures that you may find <laughs> in whatever exotic worlds and whatever extraordinary states of the mind do not consider them as real and do not consider them as unreal there is a specific word for it it is called maya it is called an appearance it appears it is foolishness to classify it as real or unreal there is no such thing in existence real and unreal are just subjective criteria of classification of experiences nothing is true nothing is false everything appears now you can say okay this appeared i will put it into the category of real and this appeared i'll put it in the category of unreal you're most welcome be my guest you can make your own criteria to call anything real unreal it hardly matters hardly matters therefore a very mature spiritual seeker a guru a master will not actually categorize anything will not say oh it, it was true it was not true <laughs> it is foolish foolishness anything can appear here anything can disappear and on the path of knowledge we have you see a tradition um, traditionally we we call that which appears and disappears which comes and goes as asatya not true now it is just a choice of word you see because ordinary language but the technical language is more precise it is called maya you can translate it as an appearance do not try to classify it into anything else so that's why i said yes it is possible that <laughs> the universe or this existence can appear as in any form it's not a big deal look at your own form you see it's a walking talking monkey it is appearing isn't it it is <laughs> it, it looks so solid and real it will disappear also it disappears every time you go to sleep and in the other worlds in the dream worlds and then finally disappears it becomes dirt because from it came from the dirt the dirt stood up in the form of a naked monkey calls itself human and goes back in the five elements isn't this magic <laughs> i mean what else are you going to call as magic we simply dismiss it as appearance we dismiss the whole waking state the whole world the sansar as um false not true so yes all your guides are false all your gurus are false i am false this voice is false it is merely an appearance never make this mistake of calling the appearance as useless because i made that mistake oh it's appearance it is false so no use for me so that is the mistake that many people make will the guide appear as a human or as a exotic entity don't have these delusions and it if appears accept it do not dismiss it just as appearance 
everything has a reason here. It it has appeared. There is a reason. Never dismiss it because I made this mistake and I I ran after to that which never appears. The truth. Well, there is no such thing. Everything will appear, but it is very useful. What happens is your spiritual progress will not happen if nothing appeared, isn't it? If you do not incarnate in the Maya. There is no such thing as spiritual progress then. There is no such thing as the evolution of the mind then, you see. So, you have already decided to, to play this play of evolution. You have all, that's why you are here, isn't it? That's why <laughs> there is this individual. And don't worry, it's not you. It is the whole. It is the existence that has, it is the Brahman itself that has broken itself into many, many appearances, forms. And it is enjoying this play. Why are you looking for a guide? Why are you looking for a guru? You feel lost, isn't it? What am I doing here? Why is this incarnation? Why is this waking life? Why is this birth and death? You are lost, isn't it? And we, when you ask people, you get all the BS there is in the society. You are here to make a lot of money, marry, produce many, many children, hoard a lot of wealth, you know, build a house and then die. <laughs> this is the... Um, explanation of the society that we are born in now i am not against this you may do this but all you will get is evolution all you will get is progress no matter what you do these things obviously they do not stay they appear and disappear it remember this is an this is maya this is illusion it is going to go all all of it what do you get you get only progress the mind progresses a little bit the jeev you see that which is lost you can translate the jeev as something like this. The part of the Brahman that feels I am lost. And that, you know, gets a little bit of progress by experiencing the life, human life. Any experience is always a lesson. So when I say the guidance is here and now, look, this is true. Because all that is happening is a lesson. All that is happening is nothing but guidance. What has happened is that and the mind expects the guide to be exotic. The mind expects that, oh, I need the guide to be this and this of this gender. He should or she should appear here and there. And they should look like this because I read it in some book somewhere. It's not necessary. The whole incarnation, this story is guide. Everything is here to teach us something. That's why I say, if you, you are progressing, don't worry. The guidance is not in a form of the your favorite alien. Don't worry. The life is teaching you. But those who are in a hurry, and we call them spiritual seekers, they should get to the nearest magical person, which will be an ordinary person with a little bit of spiritual knowledge. They should go there. They should start taking guidance from there. If you wait for some magic to happen, then not a big deal. You see, it can happen. Who knows? But uh, you will waste your time, which means for a spiritual seeker, time is very important. We do not want to waste it. And therefore, take the guidance from wherever it is available. Remember, it is all magical. Remember, it is all <laughs> appearing. It is appearing in this form. If it becomes very, very familiar, you don't like it. Because the mind develops likes and dislikes. But if you are in a hurry, if the urgency is there, then you go and take it. It is like the person who is hungry, you see, will eat the two-day-old bread also, will eat tasteless meal also, whatever he gets. Those who are not hungry, put them, put before them, you know, all kinds of uh, juicy stuff, all kinds of exotic food. They are not going to touch it. They will smell it. No, I want something better. <laughs> and you see, the... Thirst is not there. The hunger is not there. So, it totally depends on the seeker. Those who are seeking, those who want it, they will get it from the nearest and the most accessible source of knowledge. That's what I did. I, I got tired of waiting for my favorite thing to give me the knowledge. Because, you see, it looks like a waste of time to me. So, I go there where it is available and check Okay, what are you telling me? What are you saying? And let me find if this knowledge is of any use for me. And I found only one thing that if it comes from the mouth of a 10,000 year old 
guru or if it comes from the mouth of somebody who is speaking on the youtube same thing exactly the same thing same guidance not even a tiny difference <laughs> you see that saves a lot of time once i renounced the this kind of illogical desire to get guidance from the exotic sources the progress happened very quickly otherwise it wouldn't have happened otherwise i would have spent my whole life looking for magical beings and the states of the mind where there is the perfect knowledge i am not saying it is not there it is exactly the same which your ordinary guru in ordinary satsang gives you no difference so uh, that is what i wrote uh, you see as the answer where can i find my guides in the first sentence is uh, you will find it <laughs> in ordinary sources go don't waste your time 